and we're going to talk through um, what, how things have changed since August the 18th in 1935 because that's when Bridget O'Connor came into the world and they are her parents behind um, Darlington Prince Her father came from County Louth and from Termin Fecken in County Louth and um, they were, they had, uh, yeah, Bridget is the youngest of eight children. I think the phrase you used was, the shakings of the bag. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there was Paddy that people will remember very fondly, uh, central to our club GA, um, Kitty. There was Margaret, the Billy, Con, Seamus, Nancy, Jack and Bridget. But not all of them saw it through, chi through their childhood, no. uh, Bridget, yeah. Uh, my brother Jack, I never really knew him, but he died at 12 from an outbreak of bacteria at that time. And of course, there was very little uh, cure for it in those days. And my sister Nancy died at uh, 15 from meningitis. The same thing again, like just <coughs> both of them died at home, but there was no, there was nothing there for to cure them at that time. And the doctor was Dr. O'Connor? Yes, in Selfridge, and he used to come up on a bike. And uh, they did not, <coughs> like, it's not like today when you have to uh, make an appointment at nine o'clock if you want the doctor to come. But I said, well, what would happen if I got sick at 10? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she, did, she said, trust you to be proper. <laughs> Now, I'm sure everybody in the room, if you walk into a room and you leave it open, there's always some smart chap who says, were you born in a field or what? Yes, exactly. Bridget, you were born in a field. Look. Right. <laughs> <laughs> What's what, that? What happened to the house? <laughs> it's knocked down now, at least. There's only half that left, I think. Yeah. Well, but that was belonged to uh, Lyons Estate. Uh, everyone in the area at that time all walked in. Lines and so Lyons owned the house and became collected and rent. Self houses in the area. And just and everyone was very, very pleased to have a house at that time. You know. But it was hard going because there was no um you know, there was no welfare, there was no nothing. You had to walk or starve, that was the way it was there. And just place the house for us because Well it... there was two bedrooms and a big, big kitchen. Of course, the toilets were outside, like there was no, no water, you had to go to the well for water. And where was the well? It was over across the field. But and was that the youngest child's job, to go and get the water? Everybody's <laughs> job, <laughs> to get the water, yeah. Well, it was, it was lovely spring water, like, but I don't know where it came from, but it was well, well water anyway. It's the, um, where you're driving through Wheatfield, it's a right-hand turn, it's yeah, a lane, lane down to where yeah. Jim lives, near down to the lock. Yeah, down near the canal. Mm. Oh, it's, it's, yeah, down near the canal. I don't know if you can see it properly, but the old map there has uh, the lane marked in and it gives the, the phrase Lion's Cottages. Yeah. So there were quite a few little houses there, Well, there they? was, uh, on an, our part of the lane, there was... Uh, uh, Colbert was, was then, and uh, that's more uh, what became Mora Costello's house, wasn't uh, it? Yes. yes. And then farther up, then there was uh, other neighbours up near the near the Totty Lock. Yeah. Now, um, Costello's Colbert's house had been Barnwell's before then. That's right. Yeah. A pretty that's historic right. house. Yes. Um, uh, yes, yeah, that was before my time. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell me about your father and the bread van. Oh, well, Paddy was, um, he was a bread van driver for Boland's bread, but it was a horse and cart, like. And when he came around uh, first, he was living down, I was a relation of Tommy Buggles there, down, down Moore's Lane. I have a census form, and that's what's on it. Mm -hmm. And um, he met my mum in Selbridge, because she was from Selbridge, Darlington and Selbridge. And uh, they got married, but he was originally from. So he was driving the bread he van. He was driving the bread van. And but it was if he was there in the trouble times, he was doing that through the trouble yeah, times. Was. And Barnwell's just to introduce yeah. everyone to it, if some of you will know this, was a safe house. Yes. And uh, they used to come up to search looking for the money for that he was after collecting for bread. <coughs> but um, 
in a hearse succeed in getting it. He was too clever for them. They never succeed. But you see them rise up, the kids say, I did, was before my time, but I used to hear my older brothers and sisters talking about they'd rise up their heads thinking they might be under the pillow. Yeah. Huh? But they wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, um, the uh, Barnwells became Colberts and and then uh, uh, Mrs. Costa. Mrs. Costa well, took Nick, it off. Nick had it bought before he got married to Mara. Right. He came from Galway, I think. That's right. Yeah, and yeah. she came from Stillorgan, yeah, I think it was, right, and yeah. became very much part she of the community. Yeah, yeah. What was childhood like? Right. What was childhood? What games did you play? What did you oh, do? Oh, we what? played um, hopscotch, uh, blind man's buff, uh, <laughs> rounders and tip and take and things like that. There was nothing else for to do, like. And there wasn't a lot of children around? No, I was delighted uh, when uh, Wheatfield was built. It was before Wheatfield, was yeah. Yeah, because it was right down the end of the day and the, the Kenny's was the first house. And then Mona was the next house, Mona Carson. And it like, was so much to play with and go to school with. Because we had to go up the bank. So. And getting to school was a drama. You know, you you were very close to the canal, but you didn't actually join the canal. You, we, you'd you go through the woods, really, for the first I would, bit. I'd come up, I read up the road, like with the other kids. But a shortcut was up through the wood that was there then. But it's not wood anymore now. But, but, uh, that's where it, that's where it And was. you join the road just where Early's is and yeah, come yeah, over the bridge. Over the bridge then and up the canal bank. And, and if we were lucky, we got up, like walked up with a, a man that had a horse boat. Oh. He was the, uh, the horse boats he used to walk. And well, he'd let you on the boat? Oh, no. Okay, right. Oh, he'd no. let you on the no, horse? We'd walk up along and we'd be killed if we got on the boat. So what was the advantage? Okay. Okay. Well, he used to bring us up and down quicker. He wouldn't be mentioned along. And then there was motor boats as well. And you could hear the sound of the yeah, motor? In the night and all day, but they got a bit carton stuff into Dublin and up and down the country. So that there was, was quite the a few... Boat in transport, I think, at the time, more or less. There was quite a few boats still running at oh, that stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I went on for quite a while, yeah. And the heart of the action was where the church, the old church is, because uh, that's where you went to school, that's where you went to Mass. Yeah, I got my first communion and all there, yeah. And the yeah, it was sad now the day that that was closed. I thought this new one was... To me, it wasn't a bit like a joke, <laughs> <laughs> but it grew on me as time went down. Uh, and yeah. getting to school, uh, no, um, no toilets in the school. No, no, no. There's no uh, buckets. <laughs> so I suppose we were lucky to have had that. No, there was no running water or anything like that there. No. And no playground, just out into the field. I know we had a good playground attached to the school up in the big school now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we had plenty of room to play. McLaughlin's up near McLaughlin's. And were you frozen in winter? Well, we had to bring up a bit of a few sticks for to light. Miss, uh, Miss Tully's room, we had a little stove, and it used to smoke sometimes, but other than that, but it was, not, it, it was all right, and then the senior room had an open fire. But that was really for heating the teacher. Well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was, you could see it anyway. <laughs> In the distance. Yeah. Um, but it was good. It was a great school now, I will say. The two teachers oh, that you remember, Miss yeah, Tully. I would rem remember, yeah. yeah. And Mrs. McGuire was the yes, principal. Oh yeah, they were, yeah, it was very, very good. Yeah. Like there was we all left school at forty. When you got sixty last, that was that. You know, we didn't there was no such thing as secondary school. Secondary school was no. expensive? Well, you have to want to be rich. I don't know who went, we never <laughs> knew. Maybe Pat <laughs> 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 about Mrs. McGuire. She came from Clare. She did, and uh, she was brilliant. Uh, 
quite fiery at times, but to be fair, you, know, you got things that way with having a devil. <laughs> and like some of the lads going there in the sixth class, we are bigger and taller than her. But I tell you, she, she kept them all under control. There's no way you're talking on Mrs. McGuire, no. But she was a very good teacher. And she taught, she taught outside, uh, you know, she did a lot of local well, history and things the, away yeah, from the curriculum. Yeah. And she she was, loved our clock, really. She was, uh, if she was into politics, she learned that she was Labour. And uh, they, at that time, they used to come outside Mass, you know, if there was going to be an election. And uh, whoever it would be, she'd contradict them all the way through. <laughs> so, um, but she, oh, that, was, that was the only fault. She, she, she stood for Labour in, one of, the, in yeah. one of the local elections, yeah. Mr. Yeah. Norton, I think, was the leader of the Labour Party at the time. He was a yeah. Kildare man, yeah. of course, from the Thai. There she is. Um, uh, one, of the th one of the things she, that happened was she fell out with the priest. Well, yeah, I don't know what that was about. <laughs> was it politics? Because Father O'Brien well, was very Fianna Fáil. Yeah, she probably was, you know. But like she, she, when he'd come in for to examine us in catechism, uh, she'd go off out walking and he'd say, you better go out and see if she in the canal. <laughs> <laughs> That's not Father that's Father Matthew at her retirement. But that's the sort of stuff she did. That's Farrington's in Rat Coffee. Yeah. Where they bring them on on school trips. Yeah. And she wrote a lot about agriculture. She was very oh, much was. into um, tillage, you know, yeah, why... Because she, she taught here too, didn't she? In this yeah, program. she was the teacher when they yeah. originally moved in. Um, along that, the, all, there was a hive of activity along the canal there. I've got a picture of Tracy's yeah, right was, behind. Yeah. A lot of fellas used to work in there, yeah? Oh, they, well, uh, they lived, like, the Tracy's had a workshop they used to spend, and that was a meeting place, really, before the club took over. Yeah. And that's where, where the GA was founded. Started. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And um, there was a lot of men working in, in lines like at that time. They would have a huge, big farm everywhere. So like everyone was sad because they had work. And they were quite good people to work for, you know. And uh, They treated their staff well. Yeah, they were quite good. Not the well. They worked and did your business, but that's it. Yeah. And all those houses that were now ruined were occupied just right by the cliff at Lines. There was people living in most of those, were there? Well, there is people living still, like in the lock house and... Uh, like Jim has his home there yeah. and uh, all the people there, so they're all very well looked after. There's something I always wanted to know, why is Virgin Row called Virgin Row? <laughs> I never this is a, Are there any, uh, it's a past nine o'clock in the night, we can say these things. <laughs> it's, it's, all that, all those houses are gone now. But some lovely people live there, like, uh, the people that lived in line, or worked in lines lived there. Anyway. And tell me about getting across the lock. Your sister discovered that going across the lock after dark mightn't be a good idea. No, it wasn't. But you got so used to going across the lock. And we used to carry bikes and everything across it. But unfortunately for her one night, she was coming home from Ready Square she worked. And, um, she, you know, she thought that she was so used to going across it. But luckily for her, there had been a, a boatman who got off the boat at the bridge and he came down to open the lock for the boat to come along. But so she walked across side. half a lock yeah, instead of a yeah. full lock, right? And when she put her foot out, in she goes into the chamber and she couldn't swim. But she was roaring anyway and your man heard her, look. He had gone across the middle lock, you see, to go to the other side to open the let the rats up to let the boat through. And um, she was warning for her mother. And he said, yes, is your mother in it too? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> so he, he got her out anyway. He jumps out of it, Vincent with the gas. And... Um, you know, he didn't know who she was or where she came from because, of course, he was only one of the men. But luckily enough, going down the little hill uh, down to Nini's, he met Danny uh, Graham. And, uh, Barry Graham's father. Larry yeah, Graham's yeah, father, father, yeah. 
and he knew who she was, of course. So she, he brought her home down to it. Down the lane to me. And landed her into the bed on top and of you. And put her in inside me and she was like a flipping mark. She was that cold. <laughs> <laughs> but she survived. And my husband was lucky to survive. <coughs> the heart of the community was our clock hall. That was built around 1939. And then, um, oh, first, it was a wonderful place, like, you know. Where love people stories came, begin. Yeah. <laughs> and there was, that's, like, people came from Newcastle everywhere to dance. And, Oh, it was, it still is a wonderful place. I, Dinners were held there, dances were held dance. there. Yeah, courtes, dances, and ICA dances. And, and we had, uh, the gym was the, bring, bringing all great people to it. We, we had, what do you call it, Finbar Wright. We had the Garda Choir, we had the Garda Band, and we had uh, some great people. Gym was the cause of getting all the... And we entertained them in the, in the old club. There is a legend. All the people, that's a lot of the people, Sheil and all those people, were all help out at the... There's a story which probably can never be checked out, but it's that, um, come down from the mountain, Katie Daly, that song, was the very first performance of it, was in our clock hall. Probably. Um, it, it, was, uh, it was tried out in our clock hall by whatever the, oh, the band yes. was, yeah. But uh, our clock hall, uh, you cycled uh, very far to go to dances yourself. You'd go to Minutes. Oh, we and used to go to Minutes and anywhere that. We'd go on the bike with my friends and then myself when we go. I'd cycle home. At that time, the bike, the dances would be on till three o'clock. But of course, there was no drinker at my bar. <laughs> and women weren't allowed into a pub anyway. Oh, yeah. We used to have to sit on the windowsill. <laughs> <laughs> and the lads would bring it out. Uh, a bottle, uh, a glass of lemon, lemonade or whatever. And this would be in the dew drop on the way back yeah, for the match? Yeah, for a match, it's around. No, you wouldn't allow it. Uh, but uh, um, the way, which good job anyway, we're on your bikes. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody would follow you home at three o'clock in the morning on the bike. <laughs> and like, there, was no, there was no car, so it was very safe. Yeah. Roads were empty as you, yeah, drove, as yeah. you cycled there and back. Yeah. But she went everywhere. Pal Donald, we used to go to the dances. Selbridge, yeah. mind you, back in all the had it had his little picture out. Just spray it down right in the good parts. <laughs> 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 Just keep going. And Cinema Paradise. So. There was a little dance, there was a dance hall and play and as well. And, and of course, Lawler's opened up then in, in um, Nays. And she was like, oh, shit, that was, we thought that was... That was Las Vegas, oh. yeah. <laughs> and, like, if you went, you got a chance to go, which was very seldom. But she'd be getting ready for a week. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Try to get the best thing to put on you, you know. But, um, and it's peculiar the way things changed. You left school at 14, you went to uh, work in Selbridge originally. Yes, I did. Then you, did, um, around the age of 17, 18, you went to England, was it? No, it was a bit, I went to... Um, uh, meat packers. Okay. And uh, it used to have to be in at most mornings or some mornings, but not all the time. Uh, down there at <coughs> six o'clock in the morning for to put the stock and eggs on the cattle. They used to go. The American <coughs> soldiers were there from the American army. Yeah. And so it was the checking of that. Yes. They were buying the meat and they were inspected and passed by the department and all that stuff. Was hard work. Well, we loved it. Like, I think, because I, I was there for a few years, I loved it, we used to have a great time. You know, we worked hard, but it was enjoyable. And how much did you earn? I couldn't remember, I couldn't tell you now, but it didn't have much for the time we gave some to my mother. <laughs> <laughs> we had a half a crown of a Saturday night to go to the dance, you were lucky. <laughs> but, yeah. we uh, tell me about the holy, the, the holy Day of Obligation, you'd be stopped for Mass on the way. Well. Like we always went to mass, and um, but uh, we used to have the trousers on us going to the meat packers, but you wouldn't didn't like you going into the church with the trousers, so we have to roll the trousers up over our knees. <laughs> but we were all on bikes; it was very cold. <laughs> 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 and then when we come out and get down the way, which is again that's the way it was, you know. Yes. But everyone was the same; so nobody passed any mass, except that, you know. There's always rich people. <laughs> <laughs> there's always poor people. That was it. 
but happy times. Happy times. Our clock was very had a very uh, had an, its own FCA uh, branch during the emergency. Now yeah. that you were young for that, That's but right. your older brother was in the artillery, was he? Uh, uh, Con was in the army, but the, the, some of them was in the uh, LDF. I think. Was That's it. Yeah. Was yeah. Of, yeah. And then. Um, we had yeah. our own units. And we had our there. own lovely music. We had brass and reed band. And they used to play sometimes at, at special occas- at occasions up at the Mass in our talk, up the old church now. Oh, wow. And uh, it took me, you know, I don't know. I don't know what happened at all. It fell apart. <laughs> uh, there is a house called the Band House still there, yeah, isn't there? Yeah, that's up at near Tom isn't it, Tom? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, so the instruments might still be around. I don't know. know. <laughs> Somebody did ask about them, but I don't know. But there are great photographs of the old, the first band that was there, I think. And they all had moustaches. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> like, they, in, in 49, when we won the senior football, oh. the band played them back from That's the right. station. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, that was great. What was your memory that day? Oh, well, we, the first day was a draw. Gosh, that was poor really. <laughs> The army, all the lieutenant colonels and everything, and, and imagine we met them. <laughs> <laughs> the second day, then we went to get, and the train stopped at Stratford Station, if you don't mind, and it was full. They said the 11 houses bet I had that on me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, that was great. Our clock had a reputation yeah, for being tough men, had they? Well, they were no tougher than anyone else, I suppose. All the but where they looked all right, but. They were good footballers. I uh, loved what they were doing, which was great. And they worked hard like every day, like there was no such thing as getting hundreds of thousands for running around to have their ball. <laughs> <laughs> the team that they beat would have had some of the finest footballers oh, at yeah, the time. Oh yeah, John Gerard. John Gerard. Yeah. They had something like 10 Railway Cup players yeah. and our clock for it, yeah. it, maybe 40 houses beat yeah. them in the yeah. final, you yeah. know. It's a great... Yeah, it was, it was a great team. It was in England that you met your husband, Tom, the, oh, yeah. the, the, the late Tom, the beloved Tom. I went over to Tom. my friend, Mark Meany, for, um, um, to see my sister. She had went over to live, because Paddy was from Clare as well, and he wanted to be over near all, most of his uh, family had moved over there. So I went over to uh, Margaret and I <coughs> met Tom. And um, I came home, all right, but he came home then, uh, some time after. And you I, lived in I, Clare for a little while? You I went to live in Clare for a little You know, I looked after Moved experience. in with the mother-in-law? I did. I had a pair. With all the tensions that that involves. <laughs> 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 well, I, 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 my father-in-law was lovely. But I <laughs> And you learned to milk cows and feed pigs and all of those things. Yeah. And you came screaming back to our clock then. <laughs> back to more trouble. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I enjoyed my life down there, but it was tough. But, you know, uh, I never, like, I'd, I only saw a cow out in the field here and never bothered about it, but when you had to go try to milk them, it's another thing. <laughs> I had to be done, and that was it, because both all of his, his parents were old, yeah. yeah. And they had to be looked after. And but that was my job to look after them as well, you know. And uh, you, my father did it. Your father had died back in our clock, so yeah, you came he, back to. Yeah. Oh, well, he, uh, but that was a good while after that, no. Yeah. Um, Tom, Tom's father and mother were still alive when my father died. But there wasn't a whole lot of the difference. And Boston had been built. Boston took about, to, the cottages in Boston were very different from the ones now because there was no uh, inside toilet there. Oh, but. no, no. But, I mean, there was no, very few houses had uh, running water or things like that. Yeah. But um, we were delighted to get because it was, uh, like, well, it was Mammy and Daddy's and was, some of my brothers were still there, like, they weren't married at the time. But uh, we were delighted to get it because it had three rooms, so that was good. <laughs> Luxury. And a kitchen and, and a scullery and uh, thing, but the toilet was still outside and we had to go to Graham's Field. For Graham's the Field for the water. water yeah. That was at the top of the hill, top was it? Yeah. Top of the, yeah. Which 
they had to do it in Belfast City. And the, uh, there was a little community down in Boston which meant that there was new blood in our clock. Or no, did well, the, like a lot of um, the neighbours that moved in were your... always neighbours down the, you know. Yeah, so it was Lions Cottages, yeah, those yeah, houses yeah, that yeah, were knocked, yeah, a lot of them yeah, ended up, yeah. yeah. And it, uh, you know, it was, I suppose, um, Mr and Mrs Finan and Mammy and Daddy would have been the oldest pair that got. Uh, houses. With them were uh, siblings of Mr. and Mrs. Tancred, like, and you know, so, and we needed you around our talk, so the Boston Road supplied a good with them at yeah. one time. They it supplied a few footballers and hurlers, yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Tom had come back from Clare now and he became part of the Art Lock community, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And very active in things like getting. Yeah, uh, I, I was. I was lonely living there, and he wasn't. I was. Because <laughs> <laughs> I had lovely friends and neighbours, and I, I was really lonely living it. But like everything else now, there, all the older people that I knew was gone. Yes, the, yeah. song, the, the line of the song, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, you've raised your. I'm the house now. <laughs> You raised your family in our clock. Um, yeah. Do you want to go through them? Yeah, Some of them are here, here tonight. To, yeah. Uh, the school. Um, there was Raymond, Gerard, Peter, Carmel, Tony, and Vincent and Declan. Yeah, they all together. Nearly they kept the school going. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is a, it, it's something that uh, probably uh, some people in the room are aware of. There was a huge threat to our clock school. It's quite, uh, we don't know the extent yeah, of the that threat. Was before Wheatfield. Yeah, before the, the development. Was, uh, the numbers were dwindling. dwindling and yeah. um, there was also a parish priest in Kill who shall remain nameless, but his mm-hmm. name is Father Mark. But yeah. anyway. <laughs> uh, yes. He wasn't great at spending was, money on yeah. heating or yeah, painting no. or anything. In fact, to the extent that his own parish oh, ho- house was quite... Yes. But um, <laughs> when the school was in danger of closing, uh, two hardy women came down and painted it. Who were they? Oh, <laughs> and Dempsey. And Dempsey. Yeah. So a round of applause for keeping our school <laughs> open. <laughs> no, it's just... You know, we have a giant school now, but yes. if we'd lost the school, maybe... But we'd never be able to paint that one over there. <laughs> <laughs> you loved it. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> you never know with the, with the structural default, you might be called oh, in any yeah. of these days. <laughs> All the activity in the clubhouse here. I've got, got a couple of Coltus uh, pictures up behind you. Coltus were um, there was. Where your father and Martin Marcellum started the Coltus, and, and then the, the Cullens and that kept going. Breda kept that the, going, um, flying. Was, yeah. yeah, we had a great time. Uh, it like it. We learned how to do haymakers, jigging. And we had, and we had an ICA in the 40s. Oh, yeah. And then it was read from the altar by the priest. Yeah, I don't know for what reason, but sure, it probably was Father O'Brien, was it? It was Father Camp. It was Father Campion, I think. I, I, I can't remember his name, but it was one, we have two priests of the same name, so I could end up with uh, yeah. it, getting the wrong man named here. But he, he mentioned it from the altar, and that was the end of it. It was Sean Harris's mother. Kathy Harris had started. started. Yeah. But then in the 70s it restarted and it was yes. very, very active. Oh, it was. I'm sure uh, because a lady here won the best dressed lady. Oh. My lady in country That's right. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, they were all like, they were all great uh, people in there. And you did some great plays, great and drama. She yeah. had did great course for the drugs and everything. Yeah, they were all... Uh, the one, the McCarthy Cup, not the one they gave. <laughs> <laughs> they won the McCarthy Cup, not the one for hurling, but uh, the, the one for drama. Yeah, yeah. that's right, yeah. Well, no, that was great time as well. And like we'd know running off, well we had a one tack wasn't married. One tack. And we'd have the, the crowds that used to be in the club then and we'd be washing with uh, dishes of water. That we're not you, served, you served two or three hundred people in that hall. Yeah, you know. The Food Safety Authority would be around. It's a good job they were. Nobody died. <laughs> nobody died. No, still okay. Okay. Yeah. And. I'll just finish up. I have a little bit of Boston behind me, but um, 
well, I want to throw it open to the, the floor and get, thank you, Bridgie, for giving us, sharing us that wonderful nugget from our clock's uh, life and history. If anybody wants to throw in um, uh, a question for Bridgie, we have our celebrity on the stage now and she doesn't make, <laughs> she doesn't very make, make very many public appearances, I can tell you. <laughs> Jim, what about come down from the mountain, Katie Daly? Is that? <laughs> uh, yes, that's correct. He was with a travelling show in the in the um, in the old hall, and that was the first rendition of it. Yeah. Fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> what would you change, Bridgie? What would you change looking back? Of the date. What have we lost? Uh, well. If you don't mind me saying so, we were, we weren't afraid to go to bed at night. <laughs> we just didn't know who was going to come in the middle of the night, but um, ah, it was easier to live then, I think. I think that's, I wouldn't like to be starting bringing up children now. It's very, very hard, I think. There's so many of them. Too many pressures. <clears throat> I, I don't think I'd sleep at all if I had kids now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was, uh, no, it's hard. So it's harder now. And, uh, and like, it's very expensive for uh, child minding and everything like that, you know. So, I think. <clears throat> what, you're, you're, you told me when we were just going over the notes for this, you're extremely proud of being an art club person. I am. And I love our talk, but I would thank, like to thank everyone now, young and old, for always being so kind to me and mm. so really good to me. And that's all I want to say. I wouldn't change anywhere else. I love our talk. <coughs> always will. <laughs> Reggie, you are the woman. You've um, a lot of Reggie's generation, from just from my point of view, where I'm looking, uh, did without. Um, they didn't get that access to secondary education and put a right. lot into their own families yeah. to make sure that the next generation. Yeah. And sometimes they aren't thanked for it. Sometimes they're not even mentioned. They're sort of written out of history a little bit. Yeah. But your generation uh, has contributed, made the country what it is today and probably aren't thanked often enough and it's great to have an opportunity to say you guys built it and uh, you know everybody else got the third level education and yeah. the money and all of the things that you did guys did without so really appreciate yes. it. Yes. Thank you, that's great. Just briefly I'd have to say that she talked about minders and all that. I was lucky enough to have Bridgie as my minder and these two fellas. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> For 10 years she did them and then she did three more years to mind me. <laughs> <laughs> I needed her absolutely. I think the wider they were done. Oh, fabulous. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Right, that's it. So we have the Art Clock flag flying proudly behind. And if there's anybody else that wants to throw in, but there's a few other people were at school in that old school. It was. Uh, yeah, Mona's. Mona's here. And we have. Mona's very good with the history. How many will be in the school at the time? Uh, 15. 15. Yeah. Oh, there would be only about 90 then. There wasn't that many. Yeah, there wasn't. Per class? Yeah, per class. Yeah. yeah. And did they, they use the two stories of the school? Oh, no, only just downstairs. Yeah. <laughs> and so they, there's there, a li there was nobody uh, living upstairs. Mm -hmm. Father Morris mm -hmm. sold that house then to Philip the Garden. Philip the Garden, yeah. Philip the yeah. Bayless. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was an old building at the back which used to be the... the uh, I've just knocked it off, anyway, don't worry. It used uh, to be able to uh, have... Uh, there was buildings, I don't know if they're still there in the yard at the top. Uh, there were buildings in the school, the old school yard up in there. Are the buildings still there? Over the back? Yeah, the back yeah. of the school. One of them used to be the... Um, the school teacher's residence before your time now, before, oh, yeah, 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 back from about 100 years ago. Yeah. Yeah.
Bridget, you mentioned that a lot of people uh, walked in the line of the stage. Yes. Was that the UCD or was it? Was oh it no, that was, was uh, it was uh, Kathleen Lawless. Lawless and before her, her father, Lawless and Gordon Cronkory, who built the, who, who built the, oh, right, so yeah. it was farm, was it? Yeah. Oh yeah, you were lying sold off bits of it, I think, before that even. I think they were running out of money for 40 yes. or 50 years, yes. would that be fair to say, Jim? Yes. Subject this is essential to you. Okay, sorry. And the lines moved. But, uh, UCD bought at 63. Win in Yorkshire. Yeah, 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 that's right. And uh, was it fair to say they were running out of money? They were selling off things. And well, according to the minutes in the manuscript room in the minutes, uh, from way back, or had a loan taken from a minutes. And it wasn't paid fully back until I think the 1960s. Okay. And the loan was taken out about a hundred years previously. <laughs> and how did it work? Did they come and collect the rent from your father? Yes. On uh, a Friday or yeah. what? He used to come once, once a week. The steward was the name, Mr. Carr. And uh, that was the way they that you had to do it. Like it wouldn't be any new expense for us. Charge now yeah. for rent, you know. So, uh, if you were looking, Reggie, you almost had plenty of dough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We had, that was it, nothing else we had. Yeah. You also organised a wedding out of your house. Yeah, the we had double a double wedding. Double wedding, yeah. Brother and your sister, two brothers, yeah. your brother and sister, yeah. sorry. And they like, there was a big kitchen with a flag floor, so that was half sets were the rain. And, yeah. Uh, poor Pat Noel and Lord Marcin helped my lord you. And I remember Artie Wolf singing, smoke gets in your eyes. And then danced all night and had a great time. We were all sitting outside, it was the 25th of June. And they went to the Cora. It was the Derby Day in the Cora. And the, for the honeymoon. For, for, for the day. <laughs> I think honeymoons were a thing in the past. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, the, and we had, they had a great time dancing. I was only 12. Yeah. So, but, but it was it now. But I tell you, there was lads going with girls around the place then. And that was the first n night that the mother saw us over them. <laughs> they married them after. They married after. It was all about board. Yeah. Uh, that was the first time we missed our lot of the new girlfriend. But the, 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 house, the house parties was the main thing then. You know. You'd have different parties, different houses, yeah, house well, to house. Just dancing. There was no drink either. <laughs> yeah. Well, if it was time, like, I think there was a ration on at that time. Still rations, yeah. 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 Reggie, do you remember when Billy Meany got married? I do. Billy, Billy and Tom, Billy and Tom, and Tom, my brother, both of them came to the army together mm -hmm. during their uh, emergency. But I was at the after. Well, yeah. <laughs> at that wedding with my mother. Oh. And where it was was in Virgin Road. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it lost his name after that. <laughs> <laughs> Probably did, yeah. yeah. Or poor Tex, yeah. 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 Can you name everyone on that lane? Billy Minnie, the Minnies were. Well, there was. Um, well, Adrian was over there. There was uh, Tom, Joe, Billy, and Sean. Margaret. 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 And there was people on and off, and uh, used to be there. One time to be there, and, and Mr. Timpson then was the lock keeper in the lock house. Right. So, um, yeah. So there was plenty of people around, I think. Right. I, everyone on their bike. Mm -hmm. yeah. No other mode of transport on the bikes. Yeah. So, you had to get up on your bike or else you couldn't walk to them. <laughs> <laughs> Walk or wherever you had to go, which didn't do us any harm. And she was still on the bike in 1984, 85. Came down to my house, and I brought home in the car. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Well, yeah. Richie, where where was your brother stationed? 
They were sound in um, uh, artillery barracks in Kildare. Yeah. She still remembers the number. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was number eight, not six, five, three, because of course it was my my favourite of all. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. just, my, my father was in the army in the emergency oh, okay. and he was stationed in Carton. Oh, in And we, we used to uh, uh, walk into Selbridge on a Sunday afternoon. Yeah. Well, Con used to have to come home on the bike from Newbridge, you know, and tell chance the one that they would try a rebust or something and go around. <laughs> <laughs> There's more courses putting them bikes out, I can tell you. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Richie, would you share about the wonderful, uh, the avid readers that your mum and dad was and pass it on to all of you? Oh, I know they were different. If books. someone went into O'Connor's mill, they used to sit and there'd be about six of them there, but everyone had a book. Yeah, that's right, <laughs> yeah. And we all still love to read our books. And I passed that on to some people without naming names. <laughs> <laughs> But, um, yeah, uh, and, oh, I think, uh, as uh, poor Nan used to say, the arguments used to be around the table over the government. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> they were all different, you know. Uh, I know some of them were Fianna Fáil, some of them were uh, Fianna Gael and Labour. And, of course, then they'd start just when they'd be having the tea. Uh, and oh, the he, what he said at that meeting, or what someone else said at that meeting, and it'd be battered on, on the table, no cups would be hopping around. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, it just to go on forever. Oh, and if it was no good, then I went to say it. <laughs> All the giving out was gone. Yeah. Nan used to laugh, she used to say, when you'd hear them, and the cups hopping around the table. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, some of our families would have had three parties in the same Yeah, family. you see, yeah. that was it. But it was good while we were going in at the argument, but the cards used to be great as well. So that's what people spent the evening doing. used to have a lot, yeah. And, uh, like, only just an oil lamp and a uh, double burner and a, and a fire. But uh, to be all around, but sure, like, it'd be for pennies and halfpennies, there was not much money, but they were very serious, just the same, you know. <laughs> Tell me about the radio. Oh, I, oh yeah. Um, when Con was in the army for a while, he bought Daddy uh, a radio, and it had a wet, ba- a wet, wet and dry, dry battery. battery. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And yet you have to bring the wet battery to Selbridge to have it charged up. <laughs> and so someone then got him another battery because they'd be without it then when that battery had run out. But the, 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 there wasn't very many radios around at the time. And they used to come for to listen to the All Ireland and the radio. You'd have a great crowd of a Sunday listening to that. All men now listening to it. But oh, sure, it was it was great. I, it was the best thing that ever happened. I don't know what. Um, I don't think the television was as good as the radio then because it was new to them and they loved it. You know, but that was the first radio we ever had. That's radio network. So that, that was that, yeah. But uh, I don't know, like, I couldn't see anyone cycling up now with Marie in it, but, and a wet battery. <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay, I'm pretty happy we'll call we'll the call the close to proceedings and uh, we'll we'll continue kind of conversing away from the pressure point up here. Marvelous, thank you.